now check this out people are using deep fakes in tech job interviews this is crazy let's check it out What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And like I stated in the intro, there's a new technique used by scammers where they are using deep fakes in tech job interviews. And this actually came from my FBI warning. So let's just go down and hop right into it and show you guys the article and read a little bit about it and see exactly what these guys are doing. Yeah, and this article is on CNET. Um, and basically it says the FBI warns that scammers are using deep fakes in tech job interviews. It says people are using deep fakes to apply for remote jobs in the tech industry, according to the FBI. And that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is what the tech industry is actually going to, uh, with a lot of the interviews that they do, uh, especially for, you know, the remote jobs that are out there. A lot of times the interview process is done pretty much all online. And the reason I know, because I know a lot of people that are applying for tech jobs that I've, you know, either helped, you know, get ready for interviews and all that good stuff. And a lot of these positions are, you know, remote and they do the interviews online. I think I did a video on it a while back saying that a lot of uh, the interviews are done remotely uh, using like Zoom or Teams or one of these other video conferencing programs. But in this article, it says companies might have a harder time vetting candidates now that deep fakes are getting involved. The FBI warns that employers have interviewed people who've used the face altering technology to simulate someone else and are also passing along stolen personal information as their own. And this reminds me of something that I remember, you know, warning people about in the past. Um, be careful of the people that you add to your LinkedIn profile or send your resume to, you know what I'm saying? And, and you shouldn't have it too public, you know what I'm saying? To where anybody can see your information, you know what I'm saying? By, because uh, I've noticed that there are people out there that steal this information to use it on their own resumes uh, to get interviews with companies, you know what I'm saying? And like your background, like things that you say, you know, within the actual like job description, people are using that information and, and using it, pawning it off as their own information. So it's crazy, man. A lot of this information, yeah, just be careful with your job information that you put out there for the world to see. And I know it kind of sucks because that's the only way you can kind of get these jobs uh, by uh, people actually seeing your information or getting your information. But you got to be, you know, careful of who you actually send it to and kind of vet and look at the emails before you actually send your information out. That's one of the things I use. Like I'll make sure that this person is contacting you from the legit company you know before sending your information because a lot of times you know resumes they'll have your address your current address on it you know you'll have your phone number on it, your current phone number you know all that information is on your resumes a lot of times so just be careful on who you send it to and i'm sure that's how that a lot of these guys are getting that information that stolen personal info uh, and using it as their own but it says the people using deep fakes a technology that taps artificial intelligence to make it look like a person is doing or saying things they actually aren't were interviewing interviewing for remote or work from home jobs in information technology programming database and other software related roles according to the fbi public service announcement employees notice some telltale signs of digital trick trickery when lip movements and facial uh, actions didn't match up with the audio of the person being interviewed, especially when they coughed or sneezed. Yeah, that's 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 one of those telltales right there. Uh, it won't, you know, recognize some of that. And it kind of reminds me of a video I remember linus tech tips did a lot uh, a while back he was basically you know seeing if he can continue making videos if he i don't know uh passed away or something to that effect we all passed away you know what i'm saying i think and he was trying to see if they can deep fake 
a video of his uh, using someone else and all of the images that they have out there on the web, you know, uh, to get the software to talk and mimic him in a newly created video. And it was interesting, you know, actually seeing that. And that was a couple years ago, and I'm sure they have gotten better you know and he was using top-notch equipment while he was doing that you know one of the biggest providers of deep fake software at the time to try to accomplish accomplish this i'm sure it's gotten a whole lot better now but like i said in this you know article you know there are still some telltales um you know like uh the cough and sneeze but it says the deep faking interviewees also tried to pass along personal identifiable information stolen from someone else in order to pass background checks. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure they getting that stuff off of people's resumes. And because like I said, I've been contacted on LinkedIn, you know, from people that I really didn't believe they, they were who they were or who they were, who they, you know, portrayed to be. Uh, for jobs and they'll get your information and then use it for another job that they're trying to apply to which is you know crazy but it says this is the latest use of deep fakes uh, which entered the mainstream in 2019 with the worrying potential of convincingly faking other people's faces and voices and place victims in embarrassing situations like pornography or cause political un upheaval um hobbyists have used deep fake for more benign stunts since then like cleaning up de-aging in disney plus the mandalorian or swapping out an ultra serious cape crusader for a more jovial jovial one in scenes for the batman yeah and that's one thing you know in movies they're starting to do a lot uh, and it kind of reminds me of a movie what was that rogue one uh, I believe the commander or the captain of the ship. Uh, it was the same guy. They deep fake the same guy that was in the original uh, Return of the Jedi or something. Uh, they they um, deep fake that commander of one of those uh, starships. You know what I'm saying? And and that guy had he, he was older then, and I'm sure he's passed away. You know what I'm saying? But they deep faked him in the actual movie on Rogue One, which I thought was interesting. You know what I'm saying? If you go back and look at those movies, uh, you'll see that same guy, you know, as one of the commanders of one of those starships uh, in one of the original films, one of those three films. I can't remember exactly which one, but I know they deep faked him in that. But it says the threat of using deep fakes for political uh, ends remains and as when Facebook removed a fake video of Ukraine President uh, Vladimir Zelensky uh, back in March, the EU just strengthened its disinformation rules to crack down on deep fakes. But their use in situations as medine as job interviews shows how easy the deception uh, tech is to get your hands on and use. So it is out there, you know, people are actually using it. Uh, I believe that's the end of the article. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's an interesting article, man. And I wanted to share this with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just be careful of your information that you put out there, especially when you're applying for jobs. Um, be careful who you send this information. You know, verify that it's the real company that you're actually sending your information to. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, um, if they have a site where you can apply on, apply there, you know, on the physical site, put your information in there and just make sure, you know, it's the encrypted right site, you know what I'm saying, to put your information up there on, you know, for the company to actually consider you for the position. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel, go ahead on and uh, sign up for the membership, which is available. I have four tiers. Uh, I'll have a course coming out pretty soon. The Linux Plus exam full course that'll be coming out pretty soon under the membership uh, first. And then I'll release it to the public uh, at a later date. Uh, but membership, so get it first. You know what I'm saying? So consider signing up for that. Uh, that course should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, like I said, I wanted to wait until I passed that CompTIA Linux Plus, uh, the latest version of it, uh, the 005 version. Before I put the course out, it should be coming out pretty soon. But hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.